Welcome to ProStitch Your Light Tutorials. Let's walk through the steps of getting a new start point. You'll need to do this occasionally after, if you have a thread break or your bobbin runs out, you need to move that start point to a new spot in your design. So let's take a look at the screen. I've actually already tapped the pause button. Just so you know where it is, if I tap resume here, that pause button pops up. If you notice that you've had a thread break or your bobbin has run out, tap that pause button. Don't touch the emergency stop one. At this point, we can actually move our start point without going out of stitch mode. You can feel free to X out of the needle up warning. Then let's select the Pro Stitcher tab and new start and end on the ribbon. Over here in the sidebar, we've got our two columns, our start and our end column. I want to use the auto button underneath the word start. If I tap it once, it places my start point exactly where my crosshairs are. However, I can actually move my machine and that would move with it because you can see that it's still on. So be sure to tap it a second time to lock that start point in place. Next, I want to be able to move my machine so I can fix any thread issues that I have. So I'll tap the motors button in this top corner and unlock them and then I can move my machine and fix whatever issue I'm having with my thread reposition things, and then I'm ready to start stitching. But you don't necessarily want to start right where you left off, especially if you've had a thread break or your bobbin has run out. You want to move back a little bit in the design. So an easy way to do this is to use the buttons here underneath the start that move up in the design. This will move my start point up in the design. We recommend starting at a point where it'll be easy to hide this so like right there in the design where I have it, a point is a great place to start. My start point's where it is. I've fixed my thread issue. Next, I can turn on my tie off on resume if I'd like and the pull up on resume, which means it will pull up my bobbin thread and the tie off, it'll tie it off if I need to. I don't need either one of these ones turned on right now. So I'll just tap resume and finish quilting my design.